A viral video has surfaced showing Indonesian palm fruit farmers selling their harvests directly to Malaysia without going through the proper export mechanisms. According to the Indonesian Palm Oil Association, for the past one month, farmers have been traveling by themselves to the borders of Malaysia and selling directly to Malaysian palm oil factories. This is a risky move as it is illegal in Malaysia if those transactions are not recorded properly or made taxable. But many farmers say they have no choice as the price of palm fruit has dropped drastically in Indonesia, causing many farmers to suffer heavy losses. On average, the price of raw palm fruit in Indonesia is 1,000 rupiah per kilogram, while in comparison, in Malaysia, it is 4,500 rupiah per kilogram. Indonesia's Minister of Trade, Zulkifli Hassan, even said he fully understands the actions taken by Indonesian palm fruit farmers to sell directly to Malaysian factories. Minister Zulkifli said that he is drawing up a number of policies to raise the price of palm fruits in Indonesia. This includes accelerating the CPO export permits and expanding the domestic market obligation policy. Nah sekarang problem yang kita hadapi itu petani sawit kita, TBS itu murah ya. Memang kita meminta agar pelaku industri, pabrik-pabrik minyak kelapa sawit itu mereka itu membeli dengan sekurang-kurang 1.600. Tapi itu kan himbauan ya. Nah oleh karena itu hari ini saya akan perintahkan Dirjen Perdagangan Dalam Negeri Kemendak untuk menaikkan apa itu namanya demo itu ya, yang tadinya 1.5 sekarang akan menjadi 1.1 kira-kira. Previously, at the end of April, the Indonesian government banned exports of palm oil products. Although that ban was lifted in May, it has led to an excess of palm fruit supply, causing prices to drop drastically. In fact, one month after the ban was lifted, the price of palm fruit is still very low, with some regions only selling at 800 rupiah, or 5 cents, per kilogram. Many farmers have even had to stop operations altogether as they can no longer cover their production costs. Kalau di sini sekitar di bawah seribu lah, sekitar sembilan ratus, delapan ratus. Itu dengan harga segitu cukup enggak pak untuk petani itu? Kalau di sini dengan harga segitu ya kita enggak enggak cukup ya, karena semua biaya itu dah mahal semua untuk untuk anunya, untuk pekerja, untuk pupuk itu enggak. Kita aja kalau panen satu ton setengah itu, itu enggak bisa beli satu pupuk satu karung gitu. Jadi enggak cukup buat kita untuk merawat sawit di situ. So far, efforts to accelerate exports and flush out current supplies of palm fruit at companies has yet to be effective. Out of a total of 60 companies who have crude palm oil or CPO export permits, only 33 companies have begun exporting their CPO supplies. As it stands, only 885,000 tons of CPO have been exported, much lower than the government's target of exporting 1.3 million tons. If exports are not accelerated and supplies remain abundant, causing prices to drop, then Indonesian farmers might not have any other choice but to continue to take matters into their own hands.